Hi, my name is Samina Bachmeyer and I'm a children's book writer. There are many arts and crafts you can do together with your kids these days. One of our favorite to do is drying and pressing flowers together. It's definitely affordable, it's fun, and you end up with a great keepsake that you can either give to your friends or family as a gift. And here are some easy steps so you can dry your own flowers at home or press them if you like. We'll begin with drying flowers today. To dry is quite simple. You want to pick a flower that's just about ready to bloom. Don't pick a bloomed one if that's possible. Some quick suggested flowers for drying are hydrangeas, Queen Anne's lace, baby's breath, millet, chrysanthemum, and many of the everlasting family. You want to cut it with scissors or shears and be sure to leave a good amount of stem. Pick the leaves off of the stem. After you have gathered a few of your flowers together, tie them with a string of some sort and hang them upside down. You can actually spray the flowers with hairspray to help set in the drying effect. Be sure to hang them in a well-circulated area, preferably a closet or a garage if it's not damp. You want to leave hanging for two to three weeks and then you are ready to enjoy your own personal dried flowers that you and your child have created together. If you are looking to press flowers, you want to be sure to pick a flower that is rather thin in texture. They press easier all around. Also make sure the flower is dry and fresh. A good example of this would be a rose. An affordable way to press flowers is to simply grab a phone book or a dictionary. You want to open the book towards the end of the book and line the pages with paper to protect the pages, then close it. You want to wait a couple of weeks, checking on it periodically, and soon enough you will have a beautifully pressed flower to keep for years and years. We hope you've enjoyed learning how to dry and press flowers with us. It definitely is a fun and affordable craft you can share with your child. For more information, please visit FamilyAcademyOnline.com where you can find a link to my website. Have fun.